Hello, welcome to the Citrus Garden. If you're new here, my name is Christina. Thank you so much for joining me. So this is a reading for Gemini rising, or if you just have significant Gemini placements and are needing a neutral energy to help harmonize masculine and feminine energies within yourself, then this reading is for you. So Gemini, we're gonna get started with the overall context of the reading. So I'm gonna start here where we have the the Tower, and then the Five of Swords, Two of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Knight of Cups, which is really interesting because I feel like, Gemini, you're actually in this position, the Five of Swords, where I feel like you're leaving a situation. Um, it kind of feels like you're, you're somehow detaching from a situation. It could be like a relationship or a workplace or something like that because where it is you are now is somehow um, restrictive or it's just not working for you anymore. So it's almost like you're, you're initiating this tower is kind of how it's feeling. And what you're going towards this is the Two of Cups, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups. Um, and so that's just emphasized here. It's like there's, there's, some, there's somebody here who's being represented by the Nine of Cups, meaning I feel like you may be like leaving a situation. That's, that's what this is. And it's kind of like, perhaps it's, perhaps it's a little bit difficult for them. Perhaps it's being perceived as a, t a tower moment for them because perhaps they weren't expecting it. There was something um, quite solid and stable within this situation but it's and it they might even feel like they're not sure why you're leaving or why you've detached or something like that um because it's coming through with the seven of swords and the knight of wands which i feel like is your energy gemini so before you freak out i don't want anyone coming at me at the co in the comments about like oh like you're whatever this is like a, a like leaving a relationship for someone else. That's one potential way you can interpret this reading and the energy of this, but there's so many other ways that this can play out. So I'm just gonna leave that disclaimer there. Um, it feels like you're, and it could even be just like some sort of mindset of yours, right? You could be leaving behind an old way of thinking is, is kind of how, like one interpretation of how this reading can play out. So keep that in mind. Um, and it feels like you're actually going towards what, like this energy. So you have here the bear, which is sort of like an awakening or like coming out of hibernation with the lizard and the sea serpent, which is talking about something that you desire or something that you're in need of, right? It's like after a bear wakes up from hibernation, they have to go out in search of food or, or something to drink or something like that. It's like where you are now. The environment that you, you're in and that you're leaving doesn't have something that you need. Um, and so you're going in search of it. So I'm just going to leave that like that um, and apply to your life however it resonates. Um, and so the situation that you're leaving is being described by this. The crone, which always talks about an ending. Um, it's specifically this card talks to me about like taking the most like essential precious things that you need from the situation and then moving out of it and then you have here the shadow the judge and the orphan and so with the the shadow coming out with the judge and the orphan it's like try not to judge anyone too harshly in this situation is kind of the message that came through with this because there's something here about the judge and it could be like, don't judge yourself too harshly in this situation as well. Um, where like, I always see with the judge, it's like any sort of like strict boundary of like right, wrong, good or bad kind of becomes blurred whenever this card comes out, especially with the, the, the shadow here and the orphan coming out because the orphan talks to me about having a lot of needs that are not being met in some way, right? So there's something about this situation where your needs or your whatever it is, like something that you really desire that's beneficial for you, like water or food or nourishment is not being met in this situation. And it's kind of like, because you're coming out with here with the tear and the maiden, 
this card, like, it, it could be difficult for you to leave it. There may be difficulty in you leaving the situation because I feel like that's the energy that's wanting to be cleared in this reading is that it feels a bit complex, right? There's sort of like boundaries that are being blurred is kind of how I was feeling before the reading. Like it's something like it could be that the situation that you're in right now is there's a lack of boundaries or something like that, right? It's kind of like, and I'll get into why I, I was feeling like that, but um, it's kind of, for this message here, a reminder that perhaps um, is necessary for you to hear, Gemini, is that establishing boundaries with people, especially like relationships and stuff, is an act of self-love, right? It's, it's protecting yourself from somebody else's energy, and it's also teaching the other person how to give love in a way that's um, beneficial to both, right? So boundaries are absolutely necessary. And I feel like that's something here that's like, the, there's like a, a trickiness around this situation because I feel like there was perhaps a lack of boundaries or like um, you're putting up really strong boundaries, Gemini, feels like you're putting up boundaries between you and another person and that person may not be taking it very well because for for whatever reason, right? They're they're not taking it well. It's it's kind of how it's feeling. Okay, so we're gonna get into the actual reading. The first two cards that we have here are the village and the siren. So the village I always describe as being a place that you're leaving, right? A place that you've sort of outgrown. Um uh, the image that I was getting with the village is like in Beauty and the Beast, the very beginning of the story, like that that one song, <laughs> that one song where Belle's sort of going through the village, like it's it's not a it's not a negative place, right? There's nothing like actually on the surface I want to say wrong with that place, but it's kind of like it's too small for her, right? I feel like that's what this is talking about. There's something about the place that you're in, Gemini, is almost like too small or restricting, somehow limiting your growth. And that's why the siren is coming in because this is something, um, it's an energy that's like calling you out of this place, right? And it could be so, like, I, the siren often comes with the, a negative connotation as being like something that you want to avoid or something that you have to like protect your ears from. Um, but I, I don't really see it that way. I feel like it's more so like something that's coming in to br purposely break your focus, right? Purposely disrupt some sort of um, stability in order to bring you into something that's going to allow you to grow is kind of how this is feeling. So it's like, I feel like you've already encountered this siren energy in some way is kind of how this is feeling. Or that like it's it's been something that you've been feeling for a while or something that has um it could even be representing like somebody could be playing the role of the siren for you where it's like some perhaps like a new friend or something like that where they're sort of helping you to perhaps establish boundaries with this other person so it's it's kind of like you're interacting with like it's it's kind of feeling like um like a parent child relationship i don't know why it's feeling like that like it's it could be that you're the child in this case right and it's like you're having to establish boundaries with your parents because whatever it is that they're doing is perhaps crossing your boundaries in a way that's preventing you from actually growing. And so it's like there's there's like a friend or like some other person who's who's sort of helping you to do that, like teach you how to establish boundaries with your parents. For example, it doesn't have to be that. It, that's one example of how this could play out. Um, and, and you're coming through the riddle where I feel like it's it's like, 
because you're doing this, I, I'm seeing these as like the, the hands that are trying to reach in, but because you've established the boundary, it's, it's like they can't reach you or they can't access you in some way. They're, they're trying to reach in, but they can't. Um, because you've sort of put up perhaps like, like a smoke screen or like a force field of some sort that's preventing them from seeing into your experience. Um, which I feel like is absolutely necessary. This feels like a very um, beneficial energy for you to be in, Gemini, because the next two cards to come out, also with, with the first animal card, was the unseen, the venom, and the vulture. And so for the vulture, <laughs> for the vulture, I, I really love this card, actually. It's, it's one of my favorites, I think, in this deck, because it has such a clear message that there's some sort of toxin or venom um something that's harmful in the environment that you are in and it's perhaps because it's coming out with the unseen it's not something that you that that's like very obvious on the surface it's kind of like you almost needed to be in this space because i'm seeing you as being sort of like with the hands kind of like tucked away um almost just like waiting patiently right it's like if there's like a like a storm around you you're kind of just sitting patiently waiting and it's like from this sort of safe like cocooning nesting energy you can see clearly that this the energies that are outside of your smoke screen are, are going through this like having to purge through any sort of toxin or anything like that it's like you might not have seen it until you got into this place um which is really interesting i feel like there's something here with the venom because i was thinking recently it what it wasn't even like i don't it was unrelated to any reading it just put it was like a th thought that just popped into my head of like the difference between venom and poison so venom is something where like a snake venom it's something that an animal it or some something like injects into you right into your bloodstream poison is something that you ingest so there's a difference in terms of like how the the toxin is introduced into your system and so because it's coming out with the venom it's talking about someone else has inserted some sort of toxin into your perhaps energetic system and it was unseen by you you weren't aware of it so it's it's kind of like there was like some sort of like hidden um hidden aspect of of all this but anyway so it's coming out it's it's being described by these cards so the hierophant and the ten of swords so the hierophant has been coming out so much recently in the last like i don't know i want to say like six readings something like that. It's just been a, a theme where I feel like the Hierophant, which is representing any sort of very traditional, long-standing system of belief or knowledge, is going through a major transition, right? There's something, and it doesn't... For your reading today, it feels very specific to a person, actually, but I'm going to describe it as a collective, right? Like, a, or as like a more general um, phenomena where I feel like there's like some sort of long-standing traditional belief that is going through transformation and there's something about this energy that is was venomous right that had some sort of venom that was unseen by you until you took a step back from it and I feel like that's what this is this is talking about you have the seven of swords again which is which I want to Sort of, sort of shift because I do feel that this is your energy and coming out with the ten of swords right it's so it's like the seven of swords to me often talks about like almost like a self-sabotage so you're taking something perhaps that uh, taking something away from a group right so I'm going to leave it like that taking something away from a group but in doing so, right, it could be like your own energy. Because whenever I see this, the village card, it's like taking your belongings and going. Perhaps in the night, right? <laughs> like, or silently. Leaving a situation silently, perhaps without a word. So there could be something like 
you're removing yourself from a situation without without any sort of like um word right it's a riddle it's a mystery why did this person leave with all their things in the middle of the night and it's because it's like once you get out of there once you get out of that space you can see how this hierophant energy was affecting you right because it's like now that 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 venom is being cleared from your system with the vulture it's like the vulture is the the only animal that can sort of ingest toxins right they can ingest like really harmful viruses and bacteria in the environment and then dispose of them safely right so i feel like that's what's happening it's like you're in this new place where you're detached from whatever this energy is and you're purging this venomous energy from from your your system um, and then with the Ten of Swords here, it was actually coming through as being like playing dead, actually. Like it's kind of like you're, you're playing dead. <laughs> like you're, you're, in order to like, it's almost like so that the Hierophant doesn't come after you or so that, that, that this energy doesn't um, try and reinsert into your life, right? It's kind of just like playing dead or um, laying low is kind of how this is feeling because the next few cards to come out here are actually quite like lovely. So you have here the zebra, another one of my favorites, because it's talking about like the, the ear perked, right? It's like, the, I feel like there's been some sort of understanding on your part that has changed your perspective about a situation or like whatever it is that you've just left behind because you have the hanged man, which talks about sort of like taking a time out in order to gain a new perspective, which is absolutely necessary. It's like, this is, this is where you, you're, you are now. It's, or like you're going into, you're taking a time out. And in that sort of time out, you're hearing something or something is drawing your attention. And it feels like almost like a, um, something coming back because with, with the siren, it's kind of like something that you've already experienced because you wouldn't have left the situation or you wouldn't have like snuck out in the night if there hadn't been like like a siren, a noise or like a signal for you to leave that situation, right? It's kind of like that was the start of it. But now that that thing, it might have been something that you weren't even sure of. It could have been some aspect of your intuition or like your higher self trying to lead you out of this place. Um, now that like signal or sign is becoming more clear because you're out of whatever that situation was. And so it's coming out here with this, um, <laughs> the page of wands, which is you, right? Like taking with, with the, with the zebra, cause these are both like fiery energies, perhaps just like taking a look around, right? In your new environment taking a look around, um, exploring your options perhaps. And like, that's what's bringing in sort of this new idea. And what, what it's coming through with is, uh, the buffalo and the whale. I love the, okay. All of your animal cards are like some of my favorite animal cards in this deck. Like it, these two cards are extremely powerful, extremely powerful. So this is the energy of the siren, right? Because with sort of the the tail with the whale like it's it's kind of like this was the first so this is the thing that you're moving towards it could be a person it could be like a new job opportunity whatever it is fill in the blank for you um it could be just some sort of like strange mystical experience or something like that but it's like you left the situation you like went it could be like something like you're like stargazing or something right it's like you you snuck out in the middle of the night to look at the sky and you saw something there. And so from that, from that point on, like after you saw that first thing, it's like every night you've been going out to look at the sky to sort of see if you can catch a glimpse. Right. But it's almost like, it's, it's almost like there was a, an unintended effect of like, while you were going out stargazing, for example, it actually showed you something about your circumstances, like where you were sleeping, that was um, 
harming you in some way, right? Something like that. So it's kind of like, it's, it's kind of like now you've actually perhaps made a more permanent change is kind of how this is feeling to, to go like stargazing, right? Because then <laughs> the next archetype card, which I didn't, it, I'm going to talk about this more in the extended, but it's the forest. So it's kind of like you've left your home in order to go stargazing in the forest on a more permanent basis is kind of how this is feeling. And it's had the unintended effect, I want to say, with the unseen. <laughs> unintended on your part, I want to say, but I want to say that like it's very spiritually aligned. Like there is a, like your guides were, were orchestrating this for you where now that you're out of that situation with the Hierophant, it's um, showing you how much that situation was actually not benefiting you in some way, right? And so it's like you're going through a purge is kind of how this is feeling of whatever that energy is. And now that that energy is purged from your system, you can see the stars actually more clearly. Whatever it is that first drew you out into that space, you're actually seeing the fullness of it is kind of how this is feeling now, right? It's kind of like, and it, it's perhaps taken a while is what this is feeling like, where it's um, like, perhaps you went every night out into the star, like to go see the stars, but it's like, there was no sign of that initial kind of like inspiration, right? There was no, it, it was like, there, were, there was nothing. You couldn't see anything for a long time. Um, because the Four of Cups, the Four of Cups is coming out here. Which is kind of like f falling asleep while on guard, right? Like, it's like, so I get, like, with this one, it's like, you're supposed to be keeping watch, but you fell asleep while you are during your shift, or something like that. So, but it's like, it's like, it's coming in now, right? When you are sort of in this place of peace and quiet, um, and... I, I feel like I forgot to talk about these cards. The Two of Wands and the Queen of Cups, where I feel like this is talking about, because you have sort of the whale and the buffalo, the Queen of Cups, who like the whale, this energy, it's like they, with the Two of Wands, almost like somehow orchestrated if not like intentionally, right? It could just be like some aspect of their higher self, if it's another person, like it was in an intentional or aligned action that they took in order to get you into the forest, right? By yourself. <laughs> Anyways, cause, cause they're also coming through here with the, um, the queen of pentacles and the three of pentacles, right? So they're, they're coming through with all this earth and water, earth and water. So <laughs> there's something here about like, it, it, it was something that was like where you were, you were working together in this with the three of pentacles. It's like that there was something about your situation that you weren't seeing. So this one, like sent a signal, right? Sent a signal knowing that you would be drawn to that signal. And then <laughs> I'm trying to make this sound like not um, sneaky, right? It's not, it's because that's usually what comes through with the seven of uh, swords. My dog's barking now. Seven of swords kind of comes through with like a sneaky energy and I'm not, that's not the energy of the reading at all. It's not like that. It's like you're going off to see the stars and it's like somebody put, like flashed a signal to you, <laughs> flashed a signal to you knowing that you would be drawn to that. And it's like made you, like made you see that the situation that you're in, perhaps it's like leaving a city, right? In the city, you can't see the stars at all. So it's like they flashed an artificial star for you in the sky, right? They, fl <laughs> they flashed an artificial star for you that would make it through all of that smog, all that light pollution. And so you followed, you moved to the forest or you moved to somewhere where there's less pollution, less light pollution perhaps, or less fogginess, 
right? And now you're actually seeing this, right? There, there's something else here that was much more, much bigger than the intended initial kind of um, signal, right? <laughs> I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I'm going to leave the message there, Gemini, because, well, these cards actually came out, like, anyways, it doesn't matter how they came out, but you have here, like, the forest, the self, and the gem. Where'd it go? Which I will talk about in the extended, but look at, like, look at all this gorgeous energy. This is what you're going towards, right? This is, this is where you are going towards with the forest. Like, when you make this change, when you leave the city, for example, and move towards this, the forest where you can see the stars. It's like, there's, there's some sort of like self discovery that you're going to make here, which is really, really gorgeous. And I, that's, that's where I'm going to leave the, the reading. I'm going to move to the extended. You can find the link for that in the description box below. You'll also find info for personal readings. If you're interested in one of those, thank you so much for sharing your energy with me, Gemini. Um, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.